Hi there, welcome to Dundee Piano. Today we're going to have a very quick look at minor scales and comparing harmonic with melodic, okay? Harmonic and melodic. Now, these crop up maybe when you're doing grade exams. You get to choose whether you do a minor harmonic or a minor melodic. They also appear in music, songs, tunes, pieces. Sometimes the piece has notes from the harmonic scale. Sometimes it's a bit more melodic, where it changes on the way up or down. So depending on how the music goes or how the scale goes, you may use either harmonic or melodic. Now for this video, I just want to look at tips for playing them on the piano and how to think of them, or at least how I think of them and how I teach my pupils to think of them, because they can really help you work with the different kinds of scale. Okay, so I, sh I showed you A minor there, so that's probably the simplest one to straight start from. There's A minor harmonic. So the reason it's harmonic is, you can just look that up online, okay? <laughs> it's pretty much the same in both directions, okay? The way I remember the difference is, the harmony is the same each way. Whereas the melodic scale forms a melody because the melody changes as you go up or down. I've heard it says that it tries to make a full tone step on the way up and on the way down it does a full tone step again. You see the idea? So there's two full tone steps depending on which way you go. Okay, that's the theory. Full tone. Those, those are all kind of full tone, like the start of E major, yeah? And then these are all full tone, like the three notes in F major. So it's kind of like E major and F major, if you think of those three notes. That's one way of thinking of it. However, for practical reasons, I usually say, imagine you're almost doing the major on the way up and then the relative major on the way down. And what I mean by that is, if I was going to do A major, these two notes are both sharp, okay? I will disregard the third because obviously in the minor it's always flat, it's always a minor third. But for the purposes of minors, and it works for all of them, the melodic uses the top two notes of the major, basically. On the way up and then the way down it uses a relative major scale. So the relative major of A minor is C major. And I just pretend to do C major on the way down. It's all the C major notes, okay, which are all white. Now I've used A minor to demonstrate, but it works in every scale. So if I pick G minor, on the way up, I just, I just imagine I'm playing G major at the end, and then I go to my relative major, which is B flat. between just one sharp and then just one flat for the melodic as opposed to the harmonic which is both both times okay so for some scales it's easy to see the difference that's going to go both on the harmonic the melodic is more like a seesaw where it goes up and then down on different sharp if we flip over to a whole different scale what about f sharp minor Okay. There's the harmonic. So these are the two notes in the harmonic, which are always the same. If I was going to go melodic, I imagine I'm playing F sharp major, but make that a flat, make that a minor third. Yeah. So this is all kind of sharpened, and then on the way down, I play the relative major, which is E. between the two directions for melodic, okay? So I realise I'm flipping between melodic and harmonic, but it's good to have a knowledge of both so you can play either one, because some pieces have a bit of melodic in them and a bit of harmonic, depending on which way you're going and how the piece goes and how the tone of the piece or the sound of the piece is going to go. So, in summary, 
And if you're playing a minor harmonic, it's the same both ways. If you're going to play a minor melodic, go kind of sharp on the way up and flat on the way down. Kind of move up on the way up to almost like a major at the end. And then on the way down do the relative major. So I was going to flip between D major and F major there. That was the kind of two different versions. Okay. There it is. It took me a little moment to think of those flats and sharps, or flats and naturals in this case. There you go. So you can see the difference between melodics and harmonics on the piano. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.